this next phase will have a much bigger impact, potentially causing a second wave. Now, this is, of course, a different story from when domestic transmission was at its peak and when overseas travel was at an all time low. Led by the Prime Minister, the whole government has worked across all government departments, including with the devolved administration to develop these measures. And we do not take these steps lightly. This is extremely challenging and these are difficult times for the entire nation, as our freedoms have been sadly but necessarily curtailed. But we do not underestimate how hard these new restrictions will be for people up and down the country and also those who've already sacrificed so much to help beat and drive down the spread of coronavirus. And I know that families both at home and abroad are desperate to be reunited. But by taking these steps, we could save many more lives by making it possible for more family and more friends to safely be reunited in the future. We also recognise how hard these changes will be for our travel sector and leisure sectors who are already struggling through these unprecedented times. So across government, we will continue to work with them and support what is an incredibly dynamic sector to find new ways to reopen international travel and tourism in a safe and responsible way. We will review these temporary public health measures every three weeks to ensure they remain the right ones for our roadmap to recovery. And these measures will be introduced from the 8th of June so that people arriving in the UK will be required to self-isolate for 14 days, except for those on a short list of exemptions. Arrivals will be required to provide contact and address details.